Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWhite. If your Wi-Fi is not working or your Wi-Fi is connected but your internet is not working on your Windows 11. In this video, I will show you some troubleshooting method to fix this issue. So let's start with our first troubleshooting method. Check your proxy setting. Simply click on your search icon. Then type control panel. Now click on your control panel option. Then click on this internet options. Now click on this tab connections. Now in LAN setting, simply click on this LAN setting option. Now untick this proxy. This is the manual proxy selected. Untick this option and tick this automatic option automatically detect settings. That's it. Then click on OK. Then click on OK. So this is your first method. You can try check your proxy. Now move on to our next method you can try open your control panel again and then click on this network and sharing center. Now click on your Wi-Fi connection. Now click on this properties option. Then click on this option network protocol version 4 TCP IP slash IPv4 select this option then click on properties. Now make sure automatic option is selected in IP address and in DNS server. Okay, then click on OK. Now move on to our next method you can try run network troubleshooter. So simply click on your search icon and type troubleshooter. Then click on this troubleshoot settings. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now scroll down and you will get this option network adapter simply click on run to run the troubleshooter then click on the wi-fi option because the issue with your wi-fi select the wi-fi option then click on next in most cases this troubleshooter will fix your issue but if it's not able to fix your issue, now move on to our next method. You can try cancel this, cut this window. Now we will reset our network settings. So simply right click on your Wi-Fi icon, then click on network and internet settings. Now scroll down and then click on this advanced network settings. Now you will get this option network reset. Simply click on this option. Then click on reset now. So this option will only reset your network settings. Click on reset now. Then click on yes. After clicking on reset now, you will get this window. You are about to sign out. Window will be shut down in five minutes. Simply click on close. Now your system will automatically restart in five minutes. And if you click on this Wi-Fi option, you can see the Wi-Fi option is not showing. So now you have to wait for five minutes. Your system, your laptop will automatically restart and it will reset your network settings. So after restart, you have to again connect your Wi-Fi with the password. So this is my Wi-Fi. So I have to enter my password again to connect it. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi has been connected. Now move on to our next method. If you are still getting the same issue, open your command prompt, click on your search icon, then type CMD. Now right click on command prompt, then click on run as administrator. Now you have to enter few commands to fix your Wi-Fi adapter. So let's start with our first command. NATSH space Winshock space reset. Type this command, then press enter. Now move on to our next command. NATSH space INT space IP space reset. So this command will reset your IP address. Press enter. Now type the next command. NATSH space INT space IP space reset space reset log dot txt. So this command will reset all the IP logs. Press enter. Now move on to our next command. IP config space slash flush DNS. So this command will clear all the cache from DNS. Now type the next command ipconfig space slash 
release so this command will release your IP current IP address now type the next command IP config space slash renew so this command will renew your IP address or you can say this command will reallocate the IP address press enter now type our final command NETSH space INT space IPv4 space reset space reset log dot txt so this command will reset all the IPv4 logs press enter that's it now type exit press enter now restart your laptop and this will fix your Wi-Fi related issues now move on to our final method you can try to fix this issue just click on your search icon and type device manager then click on this option device manager now click on this option network adapters now expand this option and select your Wi-Fi driver so this is my Wi-Fi driver but if you are unable to identify your Wi-Fi driver I will show you a trick to identify your Wi-Fi driver go to your search icon just click on your search icon then type control panel then click on this control panel option go to this view by option and change it to small icons minimize the window now click on this network and sharing center on the left side click on change adapter settings so now you can see this is my Wi-Fi icon simply right click on it and disable it now you can see in the device manager this option is disabled so that's mean this is your Wi-Fi driver I will enable the Wi-Fi driver again now open your device manager and check so this is my Wi-Fi driver so this is how you can identify your Wi-Fi driver now right click on your Wi-Fi driver then click on update driver then click on browse my computer then click on let me pick from now select your latest driver then click on next then click on close the final step you can try is again right click on your Wi-Fi driver then click on uninstall device then click on uninstall that's it now restart your laptop and it will automatically install your Wi-Fi driver again so these are the some troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix your Wi-Fi issue on your Windows 11 operating system thank you thanks for watching TechWide have a nice day